Hello. I was just tinkering with something. I I took and made some parallels out of that steel. They're not the prettiest for that, but they're within around I think that one there was within a half a thousandth, which is pretty damn good actually. Anyways, what I was wanting to do since I got Shaper, I was wanting a Steric 54, which is these clamps that, let me set this down for a second, it comes in and holds it like this, it holds it in the vise, it just clamps down and it holds the piece, but the problem is they are kind of hard to find and they're quite expensive. I found blueprints to actually make some, but wasn't sure how to do the angle. I thought I'd just do it with the angle plate, but I was out here looking around at something, and I'll take you over here to the mess. Um, I was looking at it. That angle looks awfully familiar. Stir at 54. So, I'm sticking in the shaper, and machining the bottom part up a little bit and there we go and when we get this all machined flat I'll take and sorry still get, trying to find a place to put the tripod here um, as soon as I get this all faced off here or done off then I'll go down in and create a step and over like it's supposed to be. The angle is already there for this way, just need to go across. And then I'll chop these off, face the top part here. I'll make two of them out of the same piece of C channel. So. almost immediately because they were so hard or the you would doll the bits out and then it would start chattering like crazy I kept having to increase the feed rate so I could get the stuff to go Look 
until I gave enough of a feed to get under the rust. So, give it a bit more. As you can see, I have one of the parallels along the back side here and one pointed down just slightly so it clamps everything. It's pointed just a hair this way so that it has clamping force down and inwards. That's what the Sterrett 54s are actually good for though. more on the steam engine for a while until the weather passes and so I can cast out the body. It's a lot easier to machine the parts to the body than it is to machine the body to the parts. So I'm just going to wait for a little while until I can cast that out and it looks like it's going to be a, at least a week before I can get out and cast that. So yeah. Okay, I got the top done up, face, or done flat, and then did the step in it. It's about a sixteenth inch deep. So that's that's done. I'll take it and cut it with an angle grinder. Just cut these off and put them on the parallels I made, and take a skim pass off the top, and all the most of the stuff will be done on it. 
sorry for that was shaking. I my hands are shaking. Um, I'll go cut this up and see how it, and get these things made. Okay. I'm just I'm just taking it, going apart this top here, so that it does it flush or not flush, but just raise just a hair. Pass and I'll take it out and show you how it turned out. It's gonna, I still gotta put the back angles and everything on, but I'll do that with a sander because I, I already got everything set up for that. Because it's five degrees draft on it, and sander's already set up for five degrees for all my patterns. That looks an awful lot like the profile for the Sturt 65. I just gotta sand this angle here and this one. And, it, and round this over just a hair. And that's about it. I have two different size parallels. I got this one, which is about 5 eighths inch from the top, and I have this one, which is a quarter inch from the top put them together and you have the gets rid of that or cancels out the step on the bottom here so then I can put it in there As you can see, tightening this one down sucks the jaw down and locks everything hard. Pulls everything tight. There it is. Now I'll do this one up and I'll just hit this on the wire wheel to clean up the rust on it. But that's your profile of the Starrett 65. It's out of simple C channel. Do this up and I'll come back and yeah okay thanks for watching see ya okay I'd say they're all done see nice angles on everything and yes I got a pair this one's a little thicker for some reason. I think I didn't take as much off as this one. But I can always stick it back in the shaper and do a little more off, but I don't think I'll really need to. Stare at 54 clones made out of C channel. And that's what they look like. Okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to go play with these. <laughs> See ya.